Chad Husko, founder and CEO of Iris Light Technologies. He's in the Chain Reaction Program uh, here in Chicago, so we're back to CRI Innovators now. Uh, uh, he is teaming up with Dr. Jeff Guess at the Center for Nanoscale Materials at Argonne National Lab, and he will enlighten you about Iris Light Technologies' advancements in developing silicon photonic technologies as a key innovation in the rapidly developing laser on a chip industry. This guy's putting lasers on silicon chips, guys. Take it away, Chad. We have a clicker. So hopefully that didn't disappear in the last half minute. And of course, it will work perfectly. Yes. All right, good afternoon. Well, evening. Uh, Everyone, I'm Chad Husko, founder and CEO of Iris Light Technologies, and I'm going to tell you about scalable lasers for the connected world. So when we think about connectivity today, we probably think about the cloud, right? And we're at a hardware thing, so this is actually how it works, right? You have a data center, and this is a rack of computers. We all know how those work. What you might not know is that all those computers talk to each other with light. In fact, they go through this thing on the right here. This is a light chip or a photonic chip. So at some point, your data goes through a laser. The metric for these people, as always, is bandwidth per dollar. And for us too, right? When you pay, you want to pay the lowest amount. By the way, also we want that for low energy as well. Industry roadmap calls for a 1,000 increase in bandwidth in 10 years. This is different than the computational power by our colleague Jay just before. So this is complementary to that effort. So in the data center, the fibers aren't the problem. The computers aren't the problem. In fact, the bottleneck is, in fact, that light chip. And today's light chips do about 100 gigabits per second, um, and that's because of they only have one laser. So if we're going to reach the world of the Internet of Things, we're talking about how many more devices are going to be connected, guess what? Bandwidth goes through the roof. This is the technical problem that we're, we're facing here. So on the left, you have a wafer made out of silicon. We have a demo over here, if you'd like to see what these actually look like at our booth. Um, and the way they do this is they literally glue a laser on top of the surface. So as you can see on the right there, right, you got, you got the laser in the red box. What's it doing? Well, it's taking up a huge amount of chip real estate. They buy it from a completely separate factory. So you're, it's your chip factory plus a laser factory. This isn't ideal. And then, by the way, that one laser costs as much as the 1,000 components in the light chip sitting right below it. So this is not at all scalable. Enter Iris Light Technologies. We have a patented method to take a nanomaterial that emits light, and we print it through additive manufacturing methods right on the surface of the silicon wafer. What this gives you is actually those in embedded lasers on a chip, so no more gluing, right? And you can see here, an Iris chip can have as many as 100 lasers, or you, you tell me how many you want, right? That's how much more capacity we're going to get. So this then moves the laser production inside the factory or foundry. You're going to hear me say that word again. That means the chip maker, uh, therefore increasing the chip value. And then again, more data for your dollar. You might not have heard of light chips before, but in fact, this is a huge booming industry. Uh, it's $4 billion today um, for the light chips and the modules made out of them. And by the way, the silicon portion of this market is growing at 44%. That is a period of hyper growth, to say the least. Iris is a, is a business model. We are selling to chip makers. Again, I mentioned the word foundry. That's the word we use inside the field. And we, we, uh, they sell downstream their chips to people who integrate them into systems that eventually end up in the data centers. So what Iris actually sells to the customer, the foundry, are a few things. One is the material itself that's made into an ink. Right, so we sell the inks, but we don't just walk away there. We actually offer engineering services, so the designs for the laser themselves, as well as, of course, the printing instructions about how to go about doing this. So we're applying to many parts of the value chain. As with any of these ventures, right, we're not alone. In fact, we've already lined up a very strong industry partner in AIM Photonics, which is located in New York State. Um, many of our innovators actually worked there before uh, coming here today. So, Michael Lear, who is the CEO of Amphotonics, we talk to him regularly, and he summarizes it best. He's right, putting a laser inside of a silicon chip is the most pressing midterm priority for Amphotonics. 
and this is across the industry. And Michael believes in this mission so much that, in fact, he donated the chips that you see on the left there, valued at tens of thousands of dollars, to Iris to apply at Argonne, where we're doing our work. So those are the silicon chips, and we're applying the nanomaterial onto the surface there. We are an Argonne National Lab spin-out, in fact. We did uh, i -Corps programs to identify the market that I mentioned here before, and, and we explored other ones as well, landing here. Uh, our, our industry mentor, actually, uh, is in front row here, Norn Pan, who helped us out there. And then it was all prior to chain reactions. Now, we've received our chips from AIM, as I've mentioned, and you can see a photo on the lower right there of Jeff, my mentor, uh, uh, working in the lab here. We also went through the new venture challenge at the University of Chicago, uh, which was part of the business model validation, actually. So we have unit economics and pro forma and all that fun stuff as well. So Iris is currently raising a $2.9 million round to finalize our prototype and get the materials ready to go into AIM. Not going to go into more now. Our team is myself. I have a PhD from Columbia University uh, and before being a scientist at Argonne National Labs. Uh, my colleague Ellie, who has joined us this evening, she's also over at the table. She worked in business development in Washington, D.C. before coming to do her Master's of Public Policy uh, here at the University of Chicago. Being where it is, of course, she knows finance as well. And we have Leon Tsutsumi, um, who was instrumental in the Series A fundraise of Nanograph Corporation. And he is also a Booth MBA. We're joined by a team of seasoned advisors who have gone from startups to product production and to semiconductor manufacturing. We are Iris Light Technologies. We're putting lasers on light chips, and we're giving more data for your dollar and at lower energy. Thank you. Thanks, Chad.